Hey guys, and welcome back to Factorio Tighten the Belt Mega Base Guide. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. Uh, we are out here at an outpost. Last stream, we got a ton of outposting done, actually, which is awesome. So we have this double iron or a copper iron outpost set up up here, and it's pretty much done. Uh, none of them are powered yet because, you know, they will drain some power and such uh, uselessly until I hook everything else up. But uh, we got these two outposts done, and then we got this one finished. Uh, this one set up, this one done, and I think that was it, but that so far is um, three iron and three copper set up, and that will be decent enough to begin with. We'll probably need one or two more of each, but this is definitely a good start, especially once we can start, uh, you know, chunking out those mining productivity researches. So today what we're going to do is we're going to continue to work on the science builds, uh, basically where we left off last episode. Uh, so there's all these stations. Uh, we're just going to go here, which I'm actually a little confused as to how it could possibly make it there. Actually, how can you make it there? There's not a turn from this direction. The sea plant. I'm confused. <laughs> where, where are you going? <laughs> how does he plan to get here? Um, yeah, how about let's, uh... I'll, I'll, I'll just drive this manually. Uh, we are on the wrong side of the track, but that's okay. No other trains here at the moment. I'm not sure how he actually planned to get there. There was a path somehow. That, that would actually be interesting. I'm actually... Okay, we're, we're gonna go on a little adventure, guys. Uh, give me a minute. I know I want to... I'm actually really curious. How, because this is, this is this, right? This is where we're going. I'm really curious how this train actually plans to get here. Because it can't go to a different stop to get there, I don't think. So, oh, it's just going to take the, okay, I see. I did make a loop here, which, okay, I see. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, well, this thing is kind of stuck, so let's just. Let's just head through here. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't... I had forgotten that I'd, like, created this little bit of a loop here. Which shouldn't be a problem in the future, hopefully. I hope trains don't route through here. Um, they shouldn't. Automatically. But if it becomes a problem, we can just undo it. Alright, so... Let's head down here. I'm not sure what all... I have a fair bit of stuff. Let me actually send this to the station. Uh, what... Hello? No? Dude! Oh my goodness. Oh, it's because this is... Well, no, it should be able to go here. From this... I don't... <laughs> what is the train doing, man? Alright, we'll just, we'll just park it here-ish. Okay, so first we need to place the mining... Uh, mining build. So the, uh, the mining drill setup. Let's go ahead and get out some belt here. We were very short on belt. Actually, we had run out of iron... Uh, in the main base for gears up here. So I had to uh, bring in some supplemental iron to get that thing cranking stuff out. Uh, and hopefully that's kind of getting our belt production up and running again. Uh, I have a ton of rail, which I really don't want at the moment. Fortunately, you cannot shift click rail in. Let's actually keep that one. It's kind of annoying to be moving around. Uh, so we have all that. We have all that. We're going to need a bunch of beacons. Let's stick that in there. Um, maybe not that many beacons. Um, that's actually okay for now. Right, so we have red, green, blue uh, placed, and then we need to actually place the... Um... Oh, right. I was missing some stuff here, too. Um, we need to actually place the rest of the components for blue, which is actually only just mining drills. Aha, I did need those beacons. Okay. So this build, I had decided that we were just going to do this, um, where the inputs are going to come out from come from the right hand side, and it's going to spit out to the left. And what we're going to do then is just combine these three red belts um, into a blue belt. And I know you may be thinking initially, well, next term, you know, three red belts is more than a blue belt, and you would be correct. Um, however, uh, these are not going to be full uh, red belts like at all. Uh, so. Um. This really doesn't line up. Do I want to line up the assemblers, maybe? Those don't even line up either. Uh, uh, I guess we'll just line this up, like, here. Like, right there is fine. 
Uh, yeah, this is not a full red belt. It's like maybe half a red belt or something. Um, because we certainly don't need, we don't even need a full blue belt by any means for this. Uh, again, I'm just using the higher level belts because that's what I have the most of. Uh, okay, so what we can do then is kind of just combine these. It's going to be a little bit wonky, potentially. Uh, let's just combine this like this. Can we make some? We can make a few, thank goodness. Only need a couple. So what we'll do is we will combine... Um, just to keep consistency. <laughs> I know this is a little bit ridiculous, but uh, we'll, we'll do this. So that guy's going to go there, and then this I will make that, and it will connect in. Let's actually make a few more of these guys. And take the splitter, boom. And then this guy's going to tie in here, right? So we've got that, and then this guy is going to come around, and I again forget... Does it really matter? Um what goes where because it needs the same amount of all three ingredients i mean one belt's going to be pretty much a full belt worth i guess we could just make that this one or this one could tie in here let's do that let's actually so this one is going to be engines and red circuits um actually out of undergrounds but this one would come over and tie in like right there and simple as that so this guy's pretty much done we are missing some combinators it looks like speed models some undergrounds. I don't actually have red undergrounds. I don't think I even have them in the train for that matter. Um, but there's that. So now we can go ahead and place the uh, purple stuff. So let's let's see. Let's um. Yeah, I guess I could keep these in here. Uh, let's look at the purple build. So purple science is actually back at the chest, I think. So we'll have to take a little train ride back there. I forgot. All these blueprints in here were broken. Uh, that's fine, because we need... I may have some red undergrounds and stuff in these chests, actually. So this may be not quite as useless as I thought. Um, yeah, so purple is simple, you know, because we just need the furnaces and the electric engines. Both the builds are obviously made. We just need to kind of figure out how we want to place them down. And uh, funny story, when we when I extend this main line on stream, these, these boxes are right in the way. So I actually had to use inserters to move them, like, over the track. Aha, I knew I had some. Some combinators as well. Fantastic. Uh, in fact, it probably wouldn't hurt to... Do I have any iron in here? I don't think I do. Uh, okay, let's stick the these builds back in here. Let's take out the purple build, this build, that build, and this build. And that should be it, I believe. What's this? I don't know what that is. That's something else. That's for, that's like partial. That's part of one. We don't need that. Uh, and then speed models, of course, we have, uh, the train has some as well, but we'll do that. Um, I'll take, actually, I don't, I already have red belt. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, I don't really have any iron is, is what I'm actually missing here, but um, we'll just fill the rest with beacons and head back over. Short little train trip. Okay, dokie, so basically I'm thinking we just kind of do how we did with the red and green and we put the uh, ingredients for purple science first and then we put the, uh, well, that's not actually really what we did here, but <laughs> it's kind of what we did for blue. Um, oh, I didn't grab any blue undergrounds, dang it. Oh well. We'll go back when we need to get the materials for these builds. <laughs> Excuse me, let's see actually how big these builds are. So this one is more square than anything, really. Okay, so there's that. What about... What about the engine build? And this we only need one, remember, because it only needs to output half as much as these guys, because it, um, or even less, potentially. Um, so... I mean, or, or I miscalculated, I don't know, who knows. <laughs> Uh, so this one, I mean, this doesn't have any beacons, so we can't, like, share that anyway. I mean, it, w it would make sense in my mind to have the materials, like, first, basically, or, in, like, in front of. Can we put, I wonder if we could put this, like, in front of the build? Eh, how long is this purple build? It's pretty, pretty long. Um, yeah, how about let's not. Let's, uh, let's just... Um, I don't think it really matters. 
If we do this one and then that one, uh, it basically is just aesthetics. Like, because if we do this one and then the uh, furnace one and then purple science, it's going to be like two columns and a short block in the middle. Um, opposed to doing this first, which would be like, it would go like short to longest because this one's shorter and then red engines are longer than that, but shorter than purple. Um, I guess it really just depends what I want and I'm horrible at making decisions, so I guess we'll do this way. Uh, okay, so this guy is going to go, I'm just lining these up, there we go. Line those up, leave some space, just, you know, always leave space, guys, because we need Remember, we need room to hook in one, two, six, ten, twelve lines there. So I'm actually going to come over a bit. You know, I want to make sure we got plenty of room to route in what we need. That guy's going to go. Eh, well, actually, why don't we just measure this? Yeah, why don't we just measure this? So this one would be like one, two, three, four. Five, one, two, and we don't need underground space either because nothing goes this way. Uh, so one, two, one, two, three, four, and then another four, one, two, three, four, and then one, two. Um, now, technically, they could come like merge over, like scoot over each time, but I don't really like the way that looks. And I know an underground can't pass through here again, like I said, but we aren't going to be passing stuff underground that anyway. So that's kind of my thinking. Um, this the, the reason I did that is so we can actually just make this nicely spaced. Like I could just slap this like right there. And that should do it. Of course we're missing some beacons and all that, but that's fine. Uh, and then next is this guy, and this can share some beacons. They're both 12 beacon builds. Uh, so that's just going to go smack up against that. Like so. Yeah, we're obviously missing a lot, but... Uh, and then purple can just go next to that. And there we go. Sharing beacons, uh, someone made a comment in the last episode, which is very true. It's something I didn't mention that uh, is actually a very important thing to consider is when you share beacons, it's not only beacon and module efficient, it's actually very power efficient too, right? Because in these mega base builds with beacons, you know, that's what takes a lot of your power. These beacons that are always on and such and saving from that uh, by ha not having like double rows of beacons when you don't need to, that is, does actually save quite a bit of power. And in my case, um, that's actually going to be a really good thing. Okay, so in terms of inputs, um, well, this only this only needs two inputs, and I think I figured that it can share. I mean, I know I mapped this out, so I'm just going to assume I did it right. <laughs> well, just assume. Uh, so that's going to be that, and then this one is uh, they. It needs a full belt of each. Really? I disagree, considering that, wait, really? Now I'm a little confused, because, does it really? It does need a full belt of each? Well, what? Was I supposed to place two of these blue builds? I think I probably was, wasn't I? More than likely. <laughs> uh, hold on. Hold on, something's wrong. Because how is it that this can have one belt that shares them, and then the other one I have set up for a full belt of each, and this builds longer? How, how, how does that work? No, this build shouldn't be long. No, I screwed up. We need. I think we need two blue builds. I'm like 90% sure. Right? Pretty sure. Because this shouldn't be... This should be... If it, if it were one and one, this should be shorter. Because this produces two packs per. Yeah, man. I think I goofed. I need to look at this blueprint. 
Because blue, like, if you look at our main base, right? Blues has however many assemblers this is. Blues have 24, and this was ratioed. And these only have 14. So, yeah, I screwed up. <laughs> I should have marked that on the blueprint, really. I mean, let's just, uh, yeah, so we're gonna... Crap, 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 crap. Okay. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. We just need... What I can do is blueprint from the minor build over, because those are still, like, how they should be. They're just in the wrong place. Um, so I can blueprint from that, and then I can just tear it up, and then just move it over and place a second blue build. Yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> that's that's a little... That's a little oopsie. I had forgotten I needed two of those. Uh, just to, like, quadruple check, I will check my calculation thing here on Kirk McDonald, but... Yeah, definitely need two of those builds for sure. 100%. 12, and how many were in the purple build then? 18. Do I need like two purple builds too? Ah. <laughs> uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. No, okay. No, no, I think, no, we're. I think, right? Am I just like going insane? No, I'm, I'm good. Okay. Okay, so let's, um, let's, I'm going to put a little box down here because I'm going to need some inventory space. Let's stick all those in there, all those. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is, like I said, we're just going to simply take this blueprint from this part, and then we're just going to move the whole thing over a bit. So there's that. Boom. That's done. Okay, and then now we need to deconstruct it all. The poor bots are going to be very upset with me. Sorry, bots. That's what you get for placing stuff when I don't want you to. Now you gotta pick up everything. This wasn't their fault, but there are a lot of times when I don't want them to place stuff, and they do anyway. Oh dear. Okay, so a little trick. If you right click them, you can pull them up and they instant recharge in your inventory, and then they redeploy. Fly bots! There's some trees while we're at it, I guess. Luckily, a lot of this was ghost, so we're not gonna overflow my inventory. Um, hello? Did I? Gosh darn it. Did I for real not deconstruct this, dude? I thought I did. Whoopsie. Alright. Simple, simple, simple fix. No need to panic. I should have marked it. I don't know why I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of a whoopsie. So we're going to have to do some fancy splitting or something. Somehow that should be interesting. Uh, and then this one. Um, right. So you guys come here, please. Stop it. Uh, yeah, let's take this, and, oh dear. <laughs> uh, so we need to line these beacons up, actually, is how this was placed that way. And then this can just go, like, I mean, heck, this could literally do that. Let's just do that. Right, so yeah, pretty much, uh, we're gonna need to, like, split this. Because part of it needs to go here, and then part of it needs to underground and go there. Of course, I can't do a ghost underground, but um, yeah, and then go over to that one. I think is how that's going to have to work. Then we're going to have to do kind of the same thing with the uh, engines and the red circuits as well. Pretty sure we're out of materials. We're also out of bot charge at this point, but uh, we'll place what we can. So there's that. And then yellow science. Uh, yellow science is a bit, bit of a problem, bit of a problem child. So we have the copper cable made on site. And then it needs to input batteries, which will be made somewhere. Not, did I have batteries made down here? I don't even remember. I don't think so. Um, so the real question is, do I want to make batteries on the bus? And probably, seeing as that's where iron and copper are. Um, I don't have a battery build yet. So we need a battery build, actually, for this, and a speed module build. And then, and then per, uh, clear pearl blue circuits come in from down below. 
So this build, um, if I want to follow the same pattern, I would actually want the battery build and uh, speed module build first before this. So I can't actually place this yet. See, I think on tomorrow's Saturday stream, I need to work on uh, those builds and then we'll be pretty much set. So we are like, uh, like one episode, maybe two episodes most, because uh, after we do that, um, I can turn it on with three outposts of each. So we need to just add trains and then we need to put this build down, the yellow one, build the, I'll build the speed module and the battery one on stream. And then I can probably also build the rocket part builds on stream as well. And we will place those uh, in the next episode. And then we just gotta belt feed everything in. And it shouldn't be too hard, theoretically. Uh, the only mishap is, <laughs> I say only, this would actually be a major one, but uh, is, is if like my calculations are off and we don't have enough belt, like enough belts of copper or iron or whatever to feed things. In which case, yikes, <laughs> bad things are gonna happen. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see what happens there, guys. Anyway, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, we are super, super close. Uh, you know, I guess this is almost just like a progress update, and, and we got some stuff done. You get to see me mess up even more. Happens to the best of us. I mean, that, that's why the saying, you know, the old thing with Will Motor developed, you know, move it one tile, because sometimes, sometimes you goof. I had to move mine maybe like 15 tiles, but pretty much the same concept. So there we go, guys. That's going to do it. As always, thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. I hope you're as excited as I am, like, one stream and maybe two episodes left and we should be ready to rock and roll and turn this thing on and uh it's gonna be awesome so that's gonna do it leave your thoughts or questions below and until next time i look forward to seeing you all and do take care